have pledged legislative and policy support for local car manufacturers to win an oversight visit by the House Committee on Industry to various vehicle assembly plants and facilities in Lagos. The House Committee, led by its chairman, Mr. Dolakmo Badru, acknowledged the challenges facing local manufacturers, including high interest rates and soaring foreign exchange. Mr. Badru urged car manufacturers to introduce schemes that will enable Nigerians to purchase vehicles through installment plans similar to arrangements in other countries. He further emphasized the importance of affordable financing options for car buyers, citing high funding costs as a major hurdle for the sector. We are here to know what are the challenges they are facing. And that's why we came with the, the House Committee on Industry that have oversight function on this, so that they also we see first hand and have first hand knowledge about those challenges. We have mentioned a lot of them. There are some policies that we are trying to put into law, which they, they know. But now, they, by the time those, uh, our, our requests get to them, and because they've seen it firsthand, they will know the best way to, to, to go about the legislation. Eco-friendly, and uh, we can't but uh, encourage them to make the atmosphere very conducive for their business to thrive. Oh, only they need, uh, we came here to look at what challenges they have and uh, which way government can assist in making sure that uh, their business thrive. Meanwhile, the management of a co-electricity distribution company has denied extorting customers over the ongoing STS 2 meter upgrade, insisting the program was free for its customers. This came as the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission on Wednesday warned the distribution companies across the country to cease all activities related to planned replacement of Unistore meters. These and other burning issues affecting stability of electricity distribution was raised at the Apapa Town Hall meeting put together by the management of the disco in Lagos. According to the leadership of the distribution company, the ultimate aim of this regular interaction uh, is to get first-hand information on issues and challenges electricity consumers face across the disco's coverage area. The key issue here is simple. You know, over time, people have been complaining, give us light, give us light, give us light. And the band structure also has to do with uh, power availability. You know, so having band A is a very good thing. It helps us to, I mean, be able to serve our customers a lot better. Um, yes, naturally, people will complain if the bill, I mean, if the amount being spent is higher by way of tariff. You know, it's something that uh, we need to, you know, accept the way it is because that band A encompasses all the costs of uh, doing business along with all the parameters that make us set, you know, to arrive at that figure. So it's something that will encourage people to, you know, uh, just find a way to cope with it. If it is possible, manage your electricity consumption to be able to manage the impact on your finances. With the community, we arrange our own personal securities that... Uh, in the evenings, they go about, and early morning, they also go out to check on those uh, facilities so that we make sure no one vandalizes those uh, transformers because it's for our own use. I want them to, you know, to do more of this stakeholder because it allows people to say their mind. Everybody can now come and speak. Before, they are so unreachable. And, and, you know, the, most of their staff, they like to read, but now, They've even disturbed them, said they know that there's nothing they can do that will give their services. So with the customers, we are happy about what they are doing and uh, our own is to pay our bills.